Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacle Remastered. In the last episode, we did some cryogenic freezing with a little old hamster, and we got him all the way into the future with Laverne. Here he is in his nice little toasty warm sweater we shrunk just for him. Uh, and so now I reckon if we go back to the generator downstairs, this little guy will power up the Chronogon for us. Uh, we also managed to wake up Dr. Fred, but we're having some difficulty getting him to sign the contract, which we need to get to get the money to buy the diamond to power the time machine, you see. So we'll we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's just see if this works, see if he's ready to do some running. There you go, little guy. Oh God, what the hell? What is going on here? <laughs> what is this, Home Alone? Glove apparatus. There's a face print on the glove. I hope it's sprung for good. Hmm, can we take anything of this? It's done moving. We can't push it back in. It's done moving. No. Okay, but we can pick up this hubcap. Fascinating. Where did that come from? Oh, the car that we smashed into. Right, that makes sense. Let's take that. So the little hamster's in there, in the mouse hole. Hello, Fluffums? What I need now is a vacuum cleaner. Now why isn't there a vacuum cleaner down here? Every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. You know, sometimes I feel like there's a reference going on in this cell. I just don't understand. Why is she obsessed with vacuum cleaners? Do we actually need to get a vacuum cleaner? I want to s stop saying the words vacuum cleaner now. Um, I don't think that is what we want to do. Because that's, that's going to squish the poor little guy. Isn't this connected to somewhere on the other side, though? No, that's the one upstairs. Never mind, I'll get him mixed up. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to try and get him out of the mouse hole now. Can we swap him with the squeaky mouse toy. I think not. No. And what do we do with this? It has a dent in it shaped like my skull. Why did I pick this stupid thing up? I don't know. I don't know, Laverne. Let's just poke it the hole with, with a scalpel. I can't. My therapist and I have an agreement. Oh, stupid little mouse. Uh, hamster. That, we can't get to that area. No, that's it. We're going to have to do something to get him out of there. But let's deal with that later. <laughs> From one problem to another, let's go back to Bernard. Um, someone in the comments mentioned I should go back and just let old uh, Weird Ed know that his stamps are okay because at the moment he's probably quite distraught that we ruined them with... Um, what was that ink called? Disappearing ink, that's right. Uh, but we haven't, it's fine. He, he need not fret. We just stole one tiny, potentially valuable stamp to use in the past. But apart from that, they're all good, so... Get out of here. Oh god, where are they? Here you go. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. Yeah, it's true. Sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and feel like, I don't know, <laughs> you're made to do stupid things. Um, I guess that didn't actually do anything. It was just a nice little thing to do, a nice gesture in the game. But that's, that's not good enough. We need answers. Where is... Let's go down and see Fred again. Because we definitely did try and make him sign it. I had the inkling that we might need to switch it out for something to make him sign something else that he thinks is fine. But actually, it's the contract hidden. So let's try and give it to him again. What's he say? Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. So we said, I think we tried that one, but the whole human, I think we tried that one. 
Sign it or I get real mad. Did we try that one? And then this one. I'll oh, forget it. I'll just get rid of the test. Uh, uh, I think we tried them all. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of purple tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? Oh. Oh, I thought that was just the exit conversation bit. Hmm, hang on. I'm getting purple tentacle declared insane and arrested. I'm starting a petition to ban all tentacles. Ooh, a petition. He might sign a petition. Uh, I offered purple tentacle a bribe and he took it. Or I guess I can't. Hey, how did you join? Oh, hey, did you join a record club? No, I, I think, I reckon maybe a petition. I'm starting up a petition to ban all tentacles. Wow, where do I sign? Right here. <laughs> Well, good luck! Wow. <laughs> that was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. I had this grand idea that I had to get some sneaky item and trick him and all that sort of stuff. And I guess we did trick him, but he doesn't read that closely and uh, he just went ahead and signed it. There we go. Signed contract. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as... A crazed maniacal genius. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, does that mean that we can now give it to Hoagie? Oh, that's it. Go to the Chronogon. There you go. And we'll go back in time. Perfect. You're at the right place already. And we put that in the mailbox. Yes, what do you want? Hi there. Is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron! When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent! This is an emergency! Where does he think he's going? No, 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 no. How do we get that money then? We have a Swiss bank account book. Wow, Dr. Fred's rich. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, do we have the... Oh, no, wait, go back down. He's right here. Let's talk to him quickly. If we have the money, we can just... Can we just buy the diamond now? Uh, hey. Dr. Fred! What do we do now? We have to buy a diamond and plug it into the chronogen! Okay, yeah, I can do that. So, I think it was on the TV in the big fat guy's room. Big fat guy that was sleeping on the sweater. I think that's where the advert was for it. Which is this one? Alright, let's turn that on. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today! For the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million! The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Uh, are we done? Has, do we, oh, hang on, there's a phone right there. Use it. Fatty's in the way now. I'd better find a different one. <laughs> Fatty's in the way. Oh, believe me, I've dealt with a lot of fallies in my way, in my time. Oh, boy. Uh, well, we can't use that one. That one's out of order. Can we use the one in this room? That seemed to work. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um... It's 
Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post light speed delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I'd better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face? Hoagie and Laverne. Yes! Fine specimens! You know, I wish you'd stop calling our friends specimens. That's not very nice, is it? But there it is! There's the beautiful big diamond. It's so big. It's glowing! And it's glowing, apparently. Uh, I mean, honestly though, just leaving a two million dollar diamond out on the doorstep, you think you put some sort of special notice, you know, give it to the neighbours maybe, just to look after, or behind the bin at least. Oh. Okay, so, that's that done. I guess the only thing left to do is back to Laverne to try and get this hamster out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do we have any other items that we could use to sort of catch a hamster without smashing it with a hammer or clawing it with a crowbar or uh, glue? Do we have any glue? I always think we have glue, but we don't. No. And Hoagie, I don't think, has hardly anything. He has a bucket of water. Alright. Well, let's head back in there and just see what we can... F I don't know. I just... I might, I might need to do the... Uh... Oh, wrong one. I might need to do the old tactic of just trying everything, like I did before. And see if she says anything weird. Where am I going? I'm going downstairs, that's it. So, um, i tell you what, I think i just cut back once I've done a little bit of trial and error with the items on the mouse hole. Uh, wait a minute, look at this. So I've just been passing some items from uh, Bernard to Laverne just to see if I can use any of his ones on the mouse hole. And I've just noticed this flyer has a hoover on the front of it. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's what Laverne said. That's what she was referencing. Okay. Maybe we need to use that. Okay, okay. That's promising. Um, the rest of the stuff I don't care about. So, who's George? Apart from, well, the only George I can think of is George Washington. George says that every American. Hmm. What about if we just give the flyer to the hamster? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I didn't think so either. What about, uh. Do we need to get someone to make us a Hoover? Oh, maybe this is just a bit of a red herring. Mm, let me carry on trying some of the other items first, and I'll be back. Okay, well, as I thought, none of the other items worked. Annoying. So I think it might have to be this flyer. And is am I onto something with the George thing? Because the George Washington thing, is the only other George I can think of. I don't think oh, so. No, no, no. Just let me give it to Pogi. So let's just try. Come on, switch over. Let's try giving it to George Washington. Maybe he'll be like, hmm, a Hoover. Yes. And that will affect... Oh, wait a minute. Me whilst. What do you suppose happened to Hamilton and Madison? Yes, I'm certain we told them to come on Thursday. I'll wager Madison's with that woman who makes the cupcakes again, and Hamilton's probably gotten himself into another fight. I bet they show up late and take all the credit for our work. Jeez, guys, stop moaning. Blimey. Is he still in here? Oh, Georgie boy. There you are. Do you want to see this? 
I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, I thought that would be too obvious. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Oh, maybe we have to give this to these two, because it's like we're saying, oh yeah, George over there has said this, so maybe they'll do it. I don't wanna. Oh, why don't you want to? Hey, get out of the way so I can give it to Thomas. No, where are you going? Not Thomas, John. I don't wanna. Oh. Oh, fine. What about Red? Red Edison, he's a scientist in the past. I don't know, maybe I should just... Hmm. Maybe I should give it to Fred in the present day? Or maybe, isn't there a... Oh, there is a suggestions box. Would this count as a suggestion? Oh. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good. And so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> okay. Wow, that's, that's cool. So it was, we had to sort of fake that George did it. I did wonder when we'd use that suggestions box. But hey, there you go, it's now made a, a vacuum cleaner in every... in every basement. A you suck. Uh, oh no, don't say we need to power this up to power the... Oh, why has it got a hatch? Just... just work. It has a door on the side. Open it then. What do we... don't say... Can we just... please just let me use it. Built-in shop vac, yeah. Uh, use it with mouse hole. Oh no, that's where the hamster's gonna be. Hey, little fluffums. <laughs> He's turned into a dust bowl, poor little guy. I hope he doesn't have any sort of uh, dust allergy. Okay, well, there you go. Good. We got the little guy back. Dusty warm hamster now. Um, hopefully if we try and use them again, this won't activate and we can actually power the generator. And that should... I don't know what the end of the game's like, but that should mean all... You know, everyone's all back up to being powered and ready to be time travelled back. So maybe we're nearing the end? I think we probably are. Exciting stuff. Anyway, we'll do all that next episode. Until then, 
Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.